Are you confused when people say headless setup for the Raspberry Pi? It just simply means getting your Pi up and running without plugging in a monitor or keyboard. This is especially important for the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W because it doesn't have the usual ports. It has many ports which need adapters to plug anything in. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to set it up completely headless. So, by the end of this video, you'll be an expert in headless Raspberry Pi setup. First, let's look at the required software. Number one, the Raspberry Pi Imager. It is used to flash operating systems for Raspberry Pis. Number two, PuTTY. PuTTY is a free and open source software that we will use to connect remotely to the Pi via SSH. And the last one is the real VNC viewer. We use it to connect to the Pi in remote desktop mode. Download and install these software. Then grab your micro SD card and plug it into your computer. Open the Raspberry Pi imager. Under choose device, select your Raspberry Pi model. Then in the OS section, select your operating system. This will work for both full and light versions of the Pi OS. Select your required operating system. Then select storage and select your SD card from the list. Then click on next. In the dialog box that pops up, click on edit settings. Here, the hostname and username are set to default during the flash, but you can change it. I recommend setting a new username and password. Then enter your Wi-Fi name and password and set the country. Make sure the Wi-Fi network is not 5 GHz. Then go to the Services tab and check Enable SSH. Click on Save. Hit Yes and Yes again. Let the software work its magic. Once done, remove the SD card and plug it back into the Raspberry Pi. Plug in power. Once the boot process starts, the LED should start blinking. Leave the OS to do the first boot. It takes a while. I would give it about five minutes. Next, we need to find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. This is optional, but can be useful. For this, you need to open your Wi-Fi router settings. In the LAN settings, you should see a list of devices connected to the router. In that, find the Raspberry Pi and save its IP address. Now we are ready to access the Pi remotely. Open PuTTY. In the session screen, enter the IP address or the host name of the Pi. So the default host name is raspberrypi.local. And leave the port as 22. Leave the connection type as SSH. And then click on connect. Once connected, log in with your username and password. If you did not change the username during setup, you use the default credentials, which is username is Pi and password as Raspberry. And that's it. You are now remotely logged into the Raspberry Pi. You are running commands directly in the Pi. So if you run ls, you'll see the files on the Pi. This way you can run any configuration on the Pi. For instance, you can run the raspi config command to change the system settings or install new software. Next, if you want to use the desktop of the Pi, you'll need to enable the VNC server. Run raspi config. Go down to the interface settings. In that, select the VNC option. Enable it. Once it is enabled, you can close the PuTTY window. Open Real VNC Viewer. Here, right click anywhere and click New Connection. Again, provide the host name or the IP address of the Pi. And click OK. Next, right-click the connection and select Connect. Once prompted, provide the username and password we set while flashing the OS, or the default user, which is Pi and Password Raspberry. And that's it. You will be connected to the desktop of the Raspberry Pi. You can use it and configure it just like you would, using a dedicated monitor and a keyboard. You can create files and even install and configure software. Comment if you have any questions and as always, a like and subscribe would be amazing.